Hi, so today we're going to look at this $20 Android tablet that I picked up from Walmart. Yes, you heard that right. That's $20, I mean 20 US dollar, which comes to about 24 uh, Canadian dollar that I picked up from Walmart. I'm pretty sure it's actually probably cheaper than buying in China. So anyway, um, I mean, it is a cheap tablet, so my hope is not very great, but I just couldn't say no to a $24 laptop, I mean a tablet. So let's see what you actually get for a $24 or $20 US uh, from Walmart. So it's a 7 inch dual core tablet. The funny thing is, it is actually Google certified. So that's another thing why I picked it up. I would never buy a tablet that's not certified by Google, but this actually was. So you can actually use a Play Store. So let's look at, uh, before I open it, let's look at some specs. It's a 7 inch, again, uh, 1024 by 600. So, and then, uh, you know, Cortex A7 1.5. Well, you can read it, you can pause it. Um, and uh, Android 4.4. I know it's only 512 megs of uh, system memory, but it would have been nice if it at least had a gig. But from what I see online review, people are saying, you know, if you just want to use it as like a comic book reader, or in my case, it would be a manga reader. Uh, things like that, uh, that should be sufficient. But if you're thinking about playing games, I would not pick this up. But then again, it's a $20 laptop. Oh, by the way, here's the model number. It's a DPA23D BLK07979. Hmm. Okay, uh, that's a lot. Actually, no, sorry, the model is a DPA23D BLK. I can't seem to read it. Okay. Uh, of course, it has a Wi-Fi and it supports micro SD up to 32 gig. So yeah, and then it has a G sensor, but it does not have a Bluetooth, and it does not have a GPS. So once again, it's only a twenty dollar tablet. So, but it would have been nice if it at least had a GPS, so I could uh, use it as a a cheap, you know, like a GPS in my car or whatever. But oh well. So okay. Uh, let's see, let me go ahead and open the box for you here. It's my trusty box cutter. Yeah, these prices are getting cheaper and cheaper these days, but man, $20, that's, that's just crazy. So, I'm going to destroy the box probably, but oh well. Yeah, I'm going to be mentioning that that is $20, probably at least a million times throughout the video, so don't mind me. Okay. Okay, that's nothing else in the box, so I'm just going to throw that away. So once you open the top, this is what you get. Ooh, what the heck? Come quick start guide, okay. And... Not sure what this is. This is not a paper. I don't know if it's showing on the video, but it's some kind of soft styrofoam. Hmm. Okay, that's a strange package, packaging material. But hmm. Okay. Ah, come on. Okay. I'll just dump everything here. So this is the actual tablet itself, but we will look at it a little bit later. First, let's see what else is in the box. Ooh, paper more paper and you get a, a micro USB that's your standard uh, micro USB cable nothing special wow you actually get a charger too I was actually surprised hmm because again for $20 I thought you would have to supply your own uh, charger and maybe they would make you charge it through a computer or something stupid like that but looks like they actually give you one let me see if my camera will focus to show you what the reading is. I'm not sure if it will. Um, yeah, it's very hard to see, but it says uh, 5 volt 1.5 amp. So this is a 1.5 amp um, output. Actually, not bad. I thought it would be only 1 amp. So they at least give you a 1.5 amp uh, charger. So, hmm. Pretty good. I'm actually happy so far. 
I know I'm getting very excited over the charger, but trust me, like getting a 1.5 amp uh, charger for this kind of cheap device is actually pretty good. Usually they give you 500 uh, milliamps or maximum one amp, I mean 1,000 milliamp. So uh, here's the actual tablet, very very glossy. Okay, here's from the side view. That's the front-facing camera, 0 0.3, and I think the back camera is, does it say here? It does not. Oh, yeah, the back is 2.0. So front is 0 0.3, the back is 2.0, and this is the back. Um, actually has pretty nice finish to it. Like, it's a, I think it's a plastic, yeah, it's a plastic, but feels like it's a brush aluminum finish so uh for overall finish i definitely give it a good actually score maybe nine out of ten or whatever but because uh, i really expect it to be like really like shiny really cheap plasticky feel uh tablet i thought because it's only twenty dollar but no this this back is actually pretty decent actually hmm, i'm actually impressed now uh so here's the camera and that's the micro sd slot your power button uh, what is this? Your home button, your USB port, and your headphone and mic headphone port. I mean, and headset, and that's your mic. Um, where is the speaker at? Oh, that's the speaker right there. Okay, so let me peel this. It's probably gonna start attracting a fingerprint, but once again, hey, twenty dollar can't go wrong. So yeah, so let me see if this thing even have any power left on it. Where's the... Okay, so it looks like it might have some power. So, this is the first time boot up. I'm not going to go too detail into it. This is the, you know, your typical uh, KitKat 4.4. So, I'm pretty sure by now everybody knows what that is. So, I just wanted to show you what the splash screen looks like. So, there you go. So, that was your quick unboxing and just a quick look at this uh, $20 tablet that I picked up from Walmart. Once again, I'm very impressed with the overall finish. It's actually pretty heavy, doesn't feel not bad. Uh, the battery life is probably not that great. Um, I don't care what the manufacturer says, I'm pretty sure it's only gonna be two to three hours, but probably gonna be keep this thing plugged in most of the time. Probably gonna use it as a, some kind of, some kind of probably kitchen tablet, so it's gonna be plugged in all the time. So, uh, yeah. And you have your uh, Android home screen right there. All right, so uh, let me know what you guys think about this $20 tablet on the comment below. If you guys know any other place to get a cheap tablet, you can leave a message. I definitely give this one a thumbs up for what, it, what it's worth. So thank you for watching and see you on the next video.